good morning all today's lesson is the starry star this is the lesson about a famous astronaut that is sunita williams from america basically she is from india and that too from gujarat state but she tra- traveled to america as she finished her education over there and she traveled into space through the international space research center nasa in america so she is a big inspiration for the young generation so in this lesson we are going to learn about her and her travel into the space so let's read the textbook the first paragraph sunita lynn williams is the second indian woman after late kalpana chawla to go into space from nasa in september 2007 she visited india and went to the sabarmati ashram the ashram set up by mahatma gandhi in 1915 and her ancestral village jhulasan in gujarat this explains why she carried a copy of the bhagavad gita a small statue of ganesha and some samosas into space she was awarded the sardar vallabhbhai patel vishwa pratibha award by the world by the world gujarati society she is the first non resident indian to be presented with the award so this lesson this paragraph tells about sunita williams she, the who is the nri and she went to the space after late kalpana chawla one of one more astronaut so what are our things about to go into space from nasa in september 2007 so she went to nasa many times and in 2007 she visited india and went to sabarmati ashram so being in nri non resident of india she visited india also in 2007 and she met the people over there she went to sabarmati ashram set up by mahatma gandhi ji in gujarat and she visited her ancestral village ancestral means where her forefathers lived jhulasan is the name of the village and This explains why she carried a copy of Bhagavad Gita a small statue of Ganesha and some samosas into space. So she had a great love towards her mother country India. So even while going to space she carried few things from India. What are they? A Bhagavad Gita, a book of Bhagavad Gita, a small statue of Ganesha and some samosas, the eatables. Samosa the eatables. She carried so she carried all those things to the space. She was awarded the Sardar Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel Vishwa Pratibha Award by the World Gujarati Society. So when she came to India, she was awarded by the Gujarati Samiti with the Vallabhbhai Patel Vishwa Pratibha Award. So there was an award given to her, which is called as Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel Vishwa Pratibha Award for her intelligence. And she is the first. nri or non resident indian to be president with the award she is the first one to get this award as a nri so let's learn more about kalpana chawla soon after the award ceremony in an exclusive interview titled stars in her eyes on a popular news channel the indo american astronaut sunita williams answered questions regarding her space odyssey while an eminent journalist interviewed her the majority of the questions came from the children seated there and those from across india so when she visited india there was a interview taken about herself and her travel into the space so what was the title of the interview the title was stars in her eyes and it was taken by a news channel so being a indo american astronaut astronaut means the person who travels into the space so she had so many stories to tell what is say means stories so what is says to tell so what questions were asked to her so even there were journalists journalist sitting journalist means the people who work for the paper newspapers and even children were sitting to ask question her so so many questions were asked about her travel into the space and her personal life so let's see what were the questions asked to her and what were the answers given so the first question 
a person called Raman, boy, a student. He asks her, Madam, did you always want to be an astronaut? So he is so curious about her childhood, whether from the childhood itself she wanted to become an astronaut or later on she developed that you know, love towards the astronomy. So he asks, Madam, did you always want to be an astronaut? Srinita Williams answers, My interests have always been in running, swimming, biking, uh, windsurfing, snowboarding and bow hunting. I am an adventurous person. Yet, I never thought that I would be an astronaut someday. It was when I visited NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston that I made up my mind to be an astronaut. So, what's the answer for this question? She tells that she had interest in some kind of physical activities like running, swimming, biking, windsurfing, snowboarding and bow hunting. These were the activities uh, carried on physically. And she is an adventurous lady. Very, she loved adventures. Going out and playing with the nature was her love. And she never thought that she would be an astronaut one day. She never had dreamed about being an astronaut. But an incident made her to be an astronaut. What was the incident? It was when she visited NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. Houston is a city in America. Once she visited Houston's and NASA a space space center it's a space center so that made her mind to be an astronaut she got so interested in being astronaut and finally she became the astronaut so what made her to get interested into space travel it was the space center in houston a branch of nasa next question is asked what is the question the student is sahil Madam, you completed three spacewalks from the ISS with Michael Lopez from Algeria. It must have been a wonderful experience, wasn't it? So he's asking whether you are able to find out your travel as a very wonderful experience as what? Because two, three spacewalks were taken from you. Means three times she travelled into the space with the one more person from Algerian country that is Michael Lopez. So what happened? How did you feel? Sunita Williams. Oh yes, the space space walks were wonderful. Yes, walking in the space is really wonderful experience. Saba is asking one more question. How long did you stay in the ISS? ISS means International Space Station. Means the station in the space, like our railway station, bus station, even there are stations made artificially in the space and she walked in this uh, space station. So, Saba is asking, how long did you stay in the ISS? Sunita Williams, I was in the ISS with my astronauts for six months. Not only me, even some other astronauts were there and we remained over there for six months. Suraj is asking some other question to her. What this question is? Please tell us something about the ISS. So, if you walked into the ISS space uh, center, please tell us about the ISS. Sunita Williams, one day... Oh, sorry. One of the really great aspects of the International Space Station is that it is international. We have had 16 countries working on this project. It's one of the most amazing engineering projects in the world. Countries that were form, formerly at odds now join together on engineering, medical and scientific research of all types on the ISS. So she is answering for his question. So what's special about this ISS? One of the really great aspects of the International Space Station is that it is international. What's special about this is it's an international organization. That means many countries people will join us. Not only one or two countries, many countries join us. And we have had 16 countries working on this project. Really how many people were there? How many countries were involved in this uh, program? 16 countries all over the world joined us. It's one of the most amazing engineering projects in the world. So, this project was one of the amazing projects in the world, we can say. Because 16 countries together, we joined. 
countries that were formerly at odds now join together on engineering medical and scientific research of all types of, on the iss at odds means at the different opinions countries in the world they are not of the same opinion they have clashes they have differences of opinions it creates problem among the countries but here we see all the 16 countries joining together to find out something uh, in the engineering field medical field and scientific field next question amrita were you able to wash your face or brush your teeth over there so amrita is bit uh, curious about her daily routine in the space center what she is asking were you able to wash your face or brush your teeth over there madam you were in the research center were you able to wash your face like how you wash in the uh, on the earth and whether you were able to brush your teeth sunita williams the urge for a thorough cleansing is not surprising in a place where you your sweat clings to you like a glue the world works differently up there without gravity sweat doesn't fall off you the water just accumulates until it gets too big and falls off it then floats around until it hits something it takes a lot of water to fall off imagine huge water balls of sweat bouncing and crashing around mid air now sunita williams is answering for her question what she tells the urge for a thorough cleansing is not surprising in a place where your sweat clings to you like glue in the space it's very difficult to clean yourself not so easy because it's not like earth when you start sweating when you get the sweat on your body it will not fall off like how it falls off on the earth it clings means it sticks to your body until it gets a very bigger drop it won't fall off it will be clinging to your body it will be sticking to your body then the world works differently up there without gravity why it clings to your body until it becomes bigger drop because there's no gravity to pull off the things so it clings to your body only sweat doesn't fall off you sweat will not fall off you the water just accumulates until it gets too big and falls off the water just accumulates until it gets too big and falls off so the water on your body what sweat drops you get they will be joining together until it become bigger only when it become so bigger then it falls off it then floats around until it hits something so even though it falls off it won't fall on the ground it will be floating in the air till what time it will be floating it will be floating until it hits any other bigger thing a bigger object imagine huge water balls of sweat bouncing and crashing around mid air so just imagine the condition when your sweat comes down falls down after it become bigger one then it start floating around you it will not fall off on the earth it will be floating around you the next question what did you eat during those 6 months so karting is curious about her eatables it's moon it's a space and it's not possible to eat that or cook like how we cook on the earth so what you used to eat do, during those 6 months you remained over there sunita williams 